MVPTA curve. So here we are at Infocom 2013. We're showing our MVP TA8 curve panel. Again, we've shown this at LDI. This is the 8.33 millimeter pixel pitch panel. Let's look at the back here. So what we have here is a linking hardware very similar to our MVP products, the 12, the 18, and the 37.5. It's a little more rugged because this panel is a little beefier than what we've been carrying already. We have connecting hardware here if you want to hang this in a straight array, which is what most of our customers are doing at the moment. But what we also have is we have angling hardware. It'll angle it forward or back up to 18 degrees in either direction. And that is the MVP TA8 curve. PVPS5. Here at Infocom we have the PVP5 video panel. This is a single module, 20 inches by 20 inch, or half meter by half meter, whichever measurement you prefer. This product is 5.2 millimeter pixel pitch. Chauvet's tightest product that we carry right now in our video product line. So this is our locking system that we have on these panels. This is what we call a Spiegel connector. This is for connecting and aligning the panels and also making sure that your seams look excellent. We have an aluminum extrusion on the outside of these panels with the locking track system that keeps your alignment perfect from left and right angles. Of course, with all of our professional products at Chauvet, we have the PowerCon in and out, and with our video products, we have the EtherCon in and out. And that was the PVPS5 video panel, which this entire wall behind me is built of. VIP Media System Pro. Here what we're looking at behind me, this is our uh, rack mount gear that's operating all of our video panels in our video booth here. This is the VIP driver system. We're using two drivers, a signal distributor below it, and at the bottom here, we have the VIP media server. This is where we're first launching the VIP media server. We have upgraded all of the specs from our previous MVP media server to make this more powerful. We can have up to 14 video inputs on this and up to 8 video outputs. Each of the VIP drivers can drive up to 1.311 million pixels. So to put that in perspective, each of our PVP S5 video panels has over 9,000 LEDs. That's why these drivers have to be so powerful. So let's take advantage of our new VIP media server to drive more panels than ever before. Nexus products. We have our Nexus products here at Infocom. We've already shown the 4x4. We're expanding the product line. All right, so now we have the 4x1 and the 2x2 and the two two here. These have the, all the same great product features that the existing 4x4 has. 3 and 5 pin DMX, uh, Neutric EtherCon that features uh, Artnet and ClingNet control. All three of our different Nexus products are interchangeable. Link them with uh, power and signal. Uh, link them hardware. They also have the uh, coffin lock locking on the side, that way you can link them together. Go ahead and mix and match your Nexus products to meet any design that you can imagine. Epix 2.0 here we have our new Epix 2.0 products. We're launching them brand new at the Infocom show this year. This is our Epix Bar and our Epix Strip. We've added a few new features to these. One of the new ideas that we came up with, our Epix products are going to come pre-installed from the factory with frosted filters. We have a clear filter option for these now. Now the, the actual LED board is painted black, so if you want to get a little more oomph, a little more punch, you can go ahead and swap it out with the clear filters. This is something we're going to include in the box with each product as soon as you buy it. So if you want to go ahead and swap that out for a different effect, the option's there. These products now feature end-to-end -end hardware linking. You can use this to align it horizontally, or you can physically link this vertically to create that icicle effect. Our Epix products are perfect for the pro market and also for the pro DJ consumers. And this is the Epix 2.0. Again, you run this off RKS ClingNet, or you can run this on Artnet.